Most doctors will tell you when you go to your 20-week appointment that it's time to stop sleeping on your back, and it is important that you follow their instructions because your main arteries and veins run through the trunk of your body. And so if you lay down flat on your back, then the weight of your growing belly and uterus compresses those vessels and causes your blood pressure to drop. It prevents blood from flowing from your heart to your legs and from your legs to your heart. So you might notice that if you woke up in the middle of the night on your back, but you'd fallen asleep on your side, you feel a little bit dizzy and nauseated and this is because it's caused your blood pressure to drop. So it is very important to sleep on your side and some women feel like it's terribly uncomfortable, but it can be helped a little bit if you roll up a blanket and stick it behind your, behind your hip so it tilts you to one side and get another pillow or blanket and prop it underneath your, your belly so that your belly's not suspended and pulling and hurting from that. And um, as soon as you've had the baby, you can start lying flat on your back again, but it's also important to avoid any exercise that puts you flat on your back or be on your back for any prolonged period of time for any reason. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.